Yaskawa. <laughs> Up to now, in our discussion of components, we have focused on linear actuators. They are common. They're also the easiest to understand. But there are many other types of mechanisms used in industrial automation. We can put the whole range of mechanisms in two categories. Those producing linear motion and those producing rotary motion. For linear motion, the movement is defined in linear units, commonly inches or millimeters. A rotary actuator defines movement in rotary units, usually degrees. Now within these two categories, there are two subtypes, finite and infinite. For example, a linear actuator has a finite distance it can move, but a pinch roll can pull material virtually forever. A rotating fixture with cables has a fixed distance it can move without twisting or breaking the cables, but a rotary table can keep spinning endlessly in the same direction. These machine characteristics are very important when you are programming because they influence how and if homing is performed, how relative and absolute moves are implemented, and whether or not over-travel inputs are used.